FedEx 19, contact time. Switch to tower, FedEx 8, uh, 918. Tower, good evening, FedEx 918 is on the uh, ILS 28. FedEx 918, tower, wind 33013, gust 18, runway 28, clear to land. Okay, clear to land 28. Say the winds one more time. 330 at 1 tree, gust 18. Okay, thank you, FedEx 918. And understand clear to land, FedEx 918. Trying to see if everyone we take clear to land. Clear to land. Thanks, FedEx 918. And uh, do you obviously require assistance? Absolutely. FedEx 918, you're going to uh, hold position right there on Alpha, correct? That's correct. We have a fire alarm. It's out now, but we have smoke in the cockpit. FedEx 1019, Roger, hold position. FedEx 918, I don't show anything uh, right now. Let me grab the knockers and see if I can see anything. FedEx 918, it doesn't appear there's any uh, smoke from uh, my position, but again, it's dark and I can't really see that well. Second. We have smoke in the cockpit. Second. Roger. Yeah, we just called the uh, ARF and they are on their way. FedEx 918, uh, fire trucks are en route. FedEx 918, thank you. FedEx 918, uh, what type of, is it heavy or light smoke shift? Yeah, I'm going to shift the two souls on board. Two souls, we got uh, 22,000 pounds of fuel. And what type of smoke? I don't know. Uh, it's light now, but I don't know. It's behind the door. Gotcha. And RF-1, you can see down Alpha, and 22,000 pounds of fuel, two souls on board, and they said it's light. It's behind the door. Wigan, 1346, a FedEx 757 that just landed. Uh, after they exited runway 28 in route to the cargo ramp, they had smoke in the cockpit, so they had to evacuate the airplane. Everything's fine, but uh, they're trying to figure out what to do. So Alpha's closed down near cargo, uh, but it is open from the end of the runway to your cargo apron, so you can expect a right turn off at the end. Okay, 